All right, everyone. Today we're going to make a uh, slideshow using um, three things. We're going to use HTML, uh, CSS, and um, JavaScript. I'm not using jQuery today. We're using JavaScript. The site that we're going to use is W3 Schools. The nice thing about the way uh, W3 Schools does it is they kind of break everything down into parts. So this is what your end product could end up looking like, right? Here they've got a slideshow. It's got four different slides. Each one has, there's uh, some buttons on the side over here. You hover over them. They change colors, right? We've got some buttons down here that also change colors. Nice transition here. Pretty nice. If you want to look at the one that they did over here, just click the try it yourself button. They've got, uh, <clears throat> Uh, this is their CSS over here. All the stuff inside the style tags, right? Is their CSS. Bunch of CSS. What's that? All right. Then they got some stuff inside the body over here. They have each of their um, each of their images is inside of a div. Then down here we've got our buttons. And lastly at the bottom over here inside script tags, we have uh, their JavaScript over here. And this just controls how the how the uh, images transition and how the buttons work. What the dots do, all that kind of cool stuff. All right, let's take a look at, uh, here's my product. Works right. The buttons down here work. Now the the uh, the default one that they give you over here in the example has uh, three images, at which uh, you'll have to pick the images yourself. Obviously, the images they give they're stored on W three school server, so I mean you can't uh, use those. I mean, I could use you could use them. So we've got there's a lot of copying and pasting involved with this. And the main thing we're going to do is I want you to understand what the, the concepts are that we're uh, talking about in this project and how to change it for your needs. A lot of web design really is like, is taking stuff that's done already and uh, modifying it to whatever fits your purpose. <clears throat> so the first thing we have over here is, uh, let me start a new code pen first of all. So here I've got a, a project, uh, product link in. I've got four pictures and the, the W3Schools version, they give you three. So you're gonna have to add at least one more picture. The, the end product, I want you to have five pictures or more, but give me at least five. They don't necessarily have to have a theme, but they could. The buttons all work here. And the images are all the same size. The way I did the images with the same size is this thing over here where I have image with a width is 800, 800 pixels by 600 pixels. You can pick a different, oops, I forgot my semicolon. You could pick a different size, but you want to take pictures that are all like around like the same dimensions so that they don't look all squished. Or you could pick pictures that are all the exact same dimensions. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about doing it like this. So the reason why they don't have to do that here is the images that W3 Schools is using, they're all the same size. So they don't have to worry about changing the size of a, of a, of the images themselves. Whereas we're taking images from all different kinds of sources, not images that we made. We could, you know, resize them and all that kind of stuff, but then we have to worry about hosting the images and all that kind of stuff. But we're just taking images off the internet and uh, doing it that way. All right, so let's take a look at uh, starting a new code pen. Let me just rename this one. Oops. Hold on a second. I'm gonna just save it. Save it. All right. Give it a title. All right. This will be um, slideshow example one. Great. Now let's go. Let's make a new code pen. New pen. So here we've got uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, nothing there yet. Again, a lot of it's going to be copying and pasting. Uh, so let's do uh, 
slides show example two. All right, so let's take a look here. Here we've got uh, uh, the HTML. Let's, let's look at the HTML and understand it before we start messing around with it too much. All right, so we've got a div with the class of slideshow container. That's the, the big div that contains all of our images. So any uh, anything that's as far that's part of our slideshow, we want to put it oh, sorry from here to here, all right? Anything that uh, we wanted to be part of our slideshow has to be between these divs over here. So if you put it outside over here, like on this line down here, it'll be outside slideshow and it won't work correctly. So then we have some full width images with number and capture text, uh, caption text, capture text. So uh, each div will have a class of my slides and fade. And inside of that, we have a div with some number text. This is just going to be, if we look at our example over here, this is this text over here. Where it says, it's going to be the text in the upper right corner that just tells you what slide number we're on. So this is one out of three. 2 out of 3, and 3 out of 3. Now we have to add at least two more slides, so we're going to have to change these to you know 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, and then we have to add in a couple more with 4 out of 5 and 5 out of 5. But if you decide you want to have 6, then you're going to have to change them all out, out of 6, and so on and so forth. All right. Uh, <clears throat> then we have our image. And... Our image, uh, the source, like where we're getting our image from, and the style is width is 100%. Div class, so it's going to take up 100% of, of, the, of the div, uh, is uh, text, then our caption text over here. So this will be the text that goes at the bottom over here. Now you might want to style it, so I see that, I know you can see it if I highlight over it, but you might want to style it so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can definitely do that over here where it says text, you can change the color of it, and all that kind of stuff. All right, up next. So you have each one, so each uh, each image will be in a set of uh, divs, all right? So if I want to add in a new image, I'll just copy this, paste it down at the bottom, and make, you know, uh, five out of five, or four uh, out of five, or whatever it is, what, what number it is that you want it to be. Then we have our uh, next and previous buttons. What these are are uh, hyperlinks, technically. So these are a tags, but instead of having an href, right, we're giving them a class of previous and next. So this one is the previous, and this one is the next. And uh, so uh, when there are, uh, when we click on them, they do. Uh, plus size minus one, plus size uh, plus one, essentially. So that's going to connect to our JavaScript over here. And this is, uh, these are the, these things over here are the, the, the symbols, essentially, what these symbols are over here, these little uh, carrots, arrows, whatever you want to call them. This is just the code for writing those carrots. I like to call them carrots for whatever reason. I'm not sure that's actually correct. Let's go with arrows. Then all that's inside of, again, the big container div. You see the arrows here are inside this big div over here where all of our images are. All right. And at the bottom, we have uh, our dots. So down here, we have our dots. So we have span class dot, and then current slide one, current slide two, current slide three. Now, again, we're going to have to add two more slides. So we're going to have to add in a current slide four and a current slide five. Then we've got our CSS. Uh, <clears throat> so for the CSS, it's going to be... Uh, this is everything. Box size, uh, box sizing is border box. You don't really worry about that. But this is just remember the uh, asterisk is the um, is the select everything essentially. Then we've got our slideshow container. Our slideshow container is going to be again the div, the, the, the big div that control that has all of our images inside of it and our arrows. 
that move back and forth. So we have a max width of 1,000, position is relative, and margin is auto. So it kind of it centers it. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Here we have our previous and next classes. So our previous and next classes, if you remember. Let's look at our example over here. And they go on our buttons over here. These things over here. Previous and next. So our arrows, sorry, not buttons. <clears throat> So that just styles our arrows over here. So you could change, if you wanted to, you could change the color. You could change how much padding they have. You could change uh, uh, different things like that. Right? We also have uh, 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 some styles as far as uh, which way they go. Like the next button is going to be on the right side. The previous is going to be on the left side. This will change it when we hover over it. The background color will change a little to this uh, uh, different color. So if we hover over our button, it changes to that black color or dark gray, technically. This is the CSS for our text. Uh, for our text class, the text class is going to be on um, the. It goes on. Where does it go? Oh, on the uh, the um, the caption down here. Again, if you want your uh, text to be different, you want different fonts or whatever like that, this is where you would uh, style it here in the text class over here. For example, uh, if you want text class, if I want this to be, I don't know, like red or something like that, where's my text class? Here the color is this. We could change it to, I don't know, red or something. See, now our text is red. All right. We've got the, the number text. The number text is going to be, uh, where's the number text? Let me see. Oh, that's for these numbers over here. So since that's the style for these numbers over here. Then we've got our dots, so the our dots down here. <clears throat> That's just the style of our dots. <coughs> the, uh, one of the cool things I like about the dots is they have this transition. So when you hover, when you click on it, you see how this, the button, the colors, kind of slowly fades, and when you hover over it, the button change, changes color. But it doesn't do it like automatically. It kind of uh, it eases into the next color, and you're going to do that with the uh, transition. Also, with the uh, when you hover over it, it does the same thing. Right? It changes into a different color. This here is the um, the class for anything that we wanted to fade. We're going to have it fade like this. And this will change. Uh, these are a couple of uh, things that you can use in uh, HTML5 that will let us uh, uh, control how fast things uh, <laughs> how fast things fade. Right, that's with the WebKit and the keyframes. I don't need you to know too much about this stuff, but I want you at least to be familiar if, if you see this, like basically what it's doing. The main thing we have to worry about is like the word fade over here. So all this stuff is controlling how stuff fades on our website. Then last we have our JavaScript. Over here, this is our JavaScript right here. So we're going to start off with a variable called slide index, which starts off with a value of 1. So this is going to be sort of like a counter for our slides. So the first slide will have uh, a, a, a value essentially of one. The slide index value will be one. And then every time you add a slide or you click on the next one, the, the slide index will go up one so we will, so that the uh, kind of keeping track of which slide we're on. Now remember, if you remember, like our slide index 
when we click on the um or was it it's in the uh, CSS where to go slide index let me find it ah uh, let me see Here we go. Slide in. I was looking for it in the CSS. But where was the uh, the slide counter? It's like one of the first things. Oh, plus slides. All right, here we go. The plus slides plus one and and, and minus one and one. That's what I was thinking of. It's slightly different, uh, but it, it, it's uh, connected to that. All right, so here we go. Here's our plus slides over here. So a very slide index starts off at one. So our plus slides index, right? It's going to equal the slide index plus uh, whatever our number is, and the number is going to depend on whatever slide number we're on. So for on slide, uh, the 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 first slide always starts off at zero, so zero will be uh, essentially like one. So we start off at the first slide. Now uh, over here we have our function which controls how how the different uh, uh, different pictures how they how they transition from slide to slide over here. We've got our document uh, ready event, which we don't have a document ready event for this one. That's all right. We don't. Uh, we're not using um, jQuery in this. We're just using uh, JavaScript, so we don't really need a, a, a document ready event. And uh, here we've got our variable i, and it's just going to use the, this variable i in order to keep count of uh, essentially what slide we're on and move on from uh, slide to slide to slide over here. And you see over here we've got our slide index, which is all controlled by all these all these things. Yeah, I don't expect you to know how to do all this JavaScript. This is not a JavaScript class. This is a web design class. But I do need you to understand that if you mess around with this stuff in here, it's going to change essentially uh, how our uh, website functions. So think of it that way. All right. For right now, like I said, you can just leave all this stuff alone. But there's another version that we could use. If we want to have our slideshow start automatically, we would use this over here instead. Lastly, I don't expect you to do this one, but if you want to have two, more than one slideshow, this is the uh, the JavaScript that you use over here. Right. But for right now, we're just going to stick with. You could, if like I said, uh, either this uh, slideshow, this uh, JavaScript over here, or this one over here. Either one will work for you. Depends on. Uh, you can see that it's kind of strange that the automatic slideshow uh, is a uh, is a little bit uh, simpler. But basically, that's uh, let's. Because you, uh, it's not going to start when we're when we're clicking on it. It's just going to start automatically. All right, so let's uh, start off from scratch. Uh, let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this CSS. So, I mean the HTML. Copy all this. Go into my pen over here. Paste it. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy the CSS. Start, uh, I'd start at the bottom. Copy this. Let's paste that in the CSS. Then lastly, I'm gonna copy the JavaScript. Maybe for this one, I'll try the automatic slideshow one. All right, I don't have any content over here. I've got my buttons. But I don't have the images that I that I um, and that are in here. I have my image source. There is no image one JPEG, so I have to link to uh, outside images for my project. Let's take a look. Uh, let's find some images. What should my theme be? Sorry, my cat is on my keyboard. Uh, let me see. Let's do um, a World of Warcraft. Let's do. Um, let's do uh, the last Airbender. Let's do some images. All right, uh, this one's good. All right, let's copy this image address. Let's see, make sure it's a good one. That one. Uh, nah. That one's fine. All right. 
So let's go back to my pen over here. And let's change this image one to the URL we just copied. Uh, let me see, change the caption text to last airbender. Uh, what's this ultimate form? Not ultimate form. Last airbender. I forget what it's called. Uh, when he like powers up, doesn't do it very often. But anyways, all right. So let's find another picture here. Mm, maybe this one. That one should work. All right, let's put that one here. Oops. We'll change this to last airbender as Cora. Um, not Cora. <laughs> That's t I can't remember it was uh. I can't remember everyone's name. Does it say what it is? Last Airbender uh, cast. Katara and Sokka. I should know this, right? And Sokka. Oh, and Momo, don't forget. That's Airbender, Tarasaka. All right. You can see it's already working. We just have to uh, continue on with this. All right. Let's do our third picture. All right. That's, that's our next picture. Let me just leave that up. I'm probably going to need it. Um, I think I tried to use this one already. But it, didn't, it wasn't a good pic, uh, URL. Yeah, it's and, Uh, maybe we'll do like a Prince Zuko or something like that. Prince Zuki. This is like when he's evil. Uh, let me see. And Uncle Iroh. Let's see if we can find a good one there. Let me try this one. Nah, that's way too long. Uh, but this one. Oops, that's not what I want. Or that. Nah. Maybe this one. Why is it? Stop doing that. I'm clicking on the wrong thing or something. Eh, that's fine. All right, let's copy that one. All right, it's already copied. I don't know why I copied it again. Whatever. Got Uncle Iroh and Prince Zuko. Maybe I'll put this in the right. right. So we've got first up is uh, uh, Sok, uh, Sokka, Katara, Aang, and Momo. Hmm. 
One thing with when if we do it like this, it's got these arrows over here. And the buttons don't work with this. This is the automatic slideshow. So I'm gonna go back to If you want to do the automatic slideshow, it's fine, but if you do the automatic slideshow, you don't need the buttons and you don't need the um and you don't need the arrows on the side over here because it does it automatically. Right, but there's not really a way to control it that way or pause it. It's not that advanced of a slideshow. So I'm gonna go back to the other JavaScript over here, the not the automatic slideshow. The one where you control it. I'm gonna put that over here. Alright, so let's say that. See now it doesn't start automatically. But the arrows work and all that. But you see that some of the pictures are different sizes. So one way to fix that is to make the pictures all the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and make my pictures all the same size. Uh, width um, 1000 pixels, right? And the height. I don't know, uh, 750 pixels. Try that. Let's save that. Mm, that's too high. Let's make it like 650. Oops, I'm on this one. That's pretty good. Now all the pictures are the same size. Now, again, if you were working on a website that has lots of different images, in which case, well, that's fine. Uh, you wouldn't want to do it with just the image class. You, what you'd want to do is probably, let's, I don't know, let's do dot, um, let's give it a class. Dot, dot, um, dot air, we'll call it. So each of these are all of our uh, air. So we'll give each of these a class of air. All right. Class equals air. Let's just do this right here. And put this in each of our images. I did that wrong. All right. Class equals air. All right, so now I've got my three images. I can switch through them. The buttons work. Everything's great. Now I want to add in a new image. Now the way I, first thing I'm going to do is give myself a little more space over here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the stuff. And paste it down here. For some reason, it doesn't copy the spacing and everything. That's fine. <clears throat> now, I've got a couple of problems. One is that I've got four images, but my counter up here still says one out of three. So I should have four images. Secondly, I mean, uh, I've got two of the same image at, at the bottom. All right, I can repeat this image twice. So I have, first thing I have to do is find a new image here. Uh, maybe Kiyoshi. Mm hmm. Will be a good picture for Kyoshi. Maybe this one. Let's try this one. Copy image address. That's fine. All right. So let's change this one over here to Kyoshi. Change this to Kyoshi. The, the caps lock on. K 
Yoshi. I have to change all these to one out of four, two out of four, three out of four. This should be four out of four. All right, great. Now, the other thing we have to worry about is there's no button down here. We have to add in a button. So down over here, let's just copy this and change this to current slide four. Now we have four buttons down here. Let's see if this works. Great. Everything's working fine. Now we have to add in one more uh, image. So let's just uh, copy all this. Now, we're, although that out of four stuff, we're gonna have to change again. <laughs> but that's okay. Again, I don't know why it doesn't copy the spacing on there, but whatever. All right, so let's just change these to out of five now. One out of five. Two out of five, three out of five, four out of five, and this will be five out of five. Five out of five. Let's find a new image to put in. What time is it? All right, we still got time. I got a half hour before class starts. All right, uh, what else should I put in? Um, hmm. Maybe Appa, right? Appa would be a good picture. That's a good one. Let's see if the, <clears throat> the address is fine. Yep, that's good. Let's go over here. Let's change this to, oops, five out of five. Put that there. Put that there. And let's change this to APA, oops. APA and uh, ang. Five out of five, five out of five. Let's add in our button. Copy that, paste that. Let's take a look. One, on one, two, three, four, five, they all have Uh, captions, they're all, they're all numbered correctly. They're all the same size. Again, you could do, I put it in like a, a class of air or whatever like that, but you could just use the image class. Since this is the, these are the only images we're, we're worried about on this uh, project over here. But again, I'd like to do it like if you were making an actual website, you wouldn't want to do all your images the same size. Because odds are you're gonna, uh, unless you have a very simple website, odds are you're gonna have images of different sizes, and you you want to have to. Uh, it's, it's the best thing to do is to go ahead and make sure that uh, you don't have to go around to each each image and give it a class if you don't need to. All right, so that's all we have to do. Again, you uh, five is the minimum. Again, uh, your pictures don't necessarily have to have a theme, but you want to make sure that the pictures are like all like around the same size. So whatever size you make them. Uh, uh, they don't have to, they don't look all squished. So, uh, it's probably easier to find images, you know, if so, if, if you're looking at, uh, all kind of horizontal images, try to pick, you know, images that are all like, you know, close to the same size. Cause one thing, if you pick like, like, um, images that are the same shape, but they're vastly different as far as how many pixels they are, then they might the resolution might not look very good depending on you know if they're if like if it's a really tiny picture and a really big picture, the tiny picture is going to look uh, all all, um, all washed out because the resolution isn't as good as it uh, compared to the other ones. 
So let's take a look at what we did. Let's review. We have our uh, HTML. It looks like a lot of HTML, but most of it, again, is copying and pasting. The things that we're changing, we're changing the source of our images. We're changing the numbers here. So we have to have it five slides. So this one out of three, you have to change that to one out of five, two out of five. Then you're going to copy and paste some of these things over here. You're going to change, of course, the uh, the caption text for each of them. So your caption should be some sort of uh, short description of what's going on in your images. And then lastly, you're going to have to add in at least two more dots. Each of these are spans all right, with a class of dot. And then you got each of these numbers are going to be through 1 through 5. Or so if you want to do 7 pictures, you can do 7 pictures. You can see it doesn't take very long to add in more pictures. All you have to do is copy and paste um, the stuff. So I like... Uh, if you ever wanted to adjust this, uh, say you were working on a personal site and you were down on you had family photos that you want pe people to be able to uh, to go through, uh, you would just uh, it would be pretty relatively easy to add in some new pictures, just copying and pasting, putting in the source, and uh, and uh, just adding in some new uh, a new button. Now there's kind of a limit as far as how many. I mean, you wouldn't want to put in so many buttons, so many pictures that. That uh, it wouldn't uh, <laughs> that it would fill up the whole bottom because that'd be kind of a lot to go through. But you know, it'd probably be better just to have more than one uh, slideshow at that point. But you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're talking about five pictures here, so it's not too bad. All right, we've got our CSS. I didn't change the CSS at all, but you could, for example, change um, the uh, the the color of the text, or you could change like the the. Uh, uh, well, any of the colors, I wouldn't mess around too much with the um, uh, with uh, most of this stuff, just because uh, as far as like positioning and goes and all that kind of stuff, you want to change that uh, because it's going to affect uh, wh how your slideshow looks. Uh, but you want as far as um, things you could change, which could be for uh, font families, you could add in some different things, like maybe like a border or something like that if you wanted to. That kind of stuff. Yeah, not necessary, but if you want to try things out, right, that's uh, perfectly something that you can mess around with. Your JavaScript over here, uh, you would go do it exactly the same. You want, don't want to change anything here because this is all basically pre done for you. Uh, now, the only thing you do have an option of, instead of doing it this way with the arrows and the buttons down at the bottom, you could just do with the automatic slideshow. So with the automatic slideshow, you can still have the buttons down here that you can click on if you want. This is more, that's terribly useful <laughs> when that, when it does it for you automatically. But it's kind of cool that when it uh, trans transitions from, uh, uh, from one uh, picture to another that the button changes with you. I don't think clicking on the button actually does anything. No, it doesn't do anything. It just kind of shows you what number you're on. So you don't you don't if you do that you don't need the arrows over here. So you could try either one. If you if you want to try this one, feel free. Again, the link on the uh, on the project is it takes you to all these different things. If you want to do extra fancy, you could could do the uh, try it yourself one where you have the um, more than one slideshow. So you can see how these two slideshows have different uh, image sizes over here. So we have slideshow one and slideshow two, and that's going to be done mostly with the uh, so we've got slideshow one and slideshow two over here, and they have uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, two paragraphs: slideshow one, slideshow two, two sets of divs. All right. So here's our slideshow container. These have each have a different uh, cla uh, have a class of slideshow container. The main difference is going to be is the divs inside of it with the images have a class of my slides two. These have a class of my slides one. And you can see the uh, my slides. Where's the CSS for this one? Yeah. So 
the uh, different why these uh, pictures are are different sizes is that the pictures themselves are actual different sizes. So again, they kind of uh, cheated a, a little, not really cheated, but they took pictures, they edited them so that they're all basically they're all the same size. So you don't have to worry about your slideshow looking weird as far as um, as far as uh, when you. Uh, I, they also have it uh, so that the, the buttons are white. You click on it. That's fine. The previous example, we had it so that the buttons were were black, with or, or the buttons were black. No, the buttons were. Let me see. On our example, the, the buttons are white, and when you hover over them, they they're black. Like that. You could do it either way. An example here that the buttons are white and uh, they turn black when you hover over them the background goes white hmm, I don't know which one I like better hmm. they're both nice so you could mess around with different things you could go for example say for, say for example you like these arrows better than the other arrows you could just uh, steal them um, mix and match some of the code as far as that goes that would be a little more complicated but you could definitely do it All right, so there we go. We have our uh, slideshow with five slides, five buttons over here. Arrows work. Images are all the same size. Easy peasy. All right, I hope this uh, helps you, and good luck.